Welcome guys to a tutorial for the first time in over a month or so. Over the past month and a half, I have been grinding out on editing, learning new styles, getting more high ticket paying clients and building my business and my resume. So lucky for you guys, I learned a new style and I like to call it premium reels. And in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down how you can edit premium reels in DaVinci Resolve. Most of this is going to be done in the edit page. Some of it might be in the Fusion page. It doesn't matter, because I'm gonna take you guys step by step. If you guys are new here, then make sure you drop a subscribe. I'm almost at 10K. Whoever is the 10,000th subscriber, I will be doing a giveaway, so make sure you guys subscribe. And without further ado, I say we get this video started. All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down how I did this reel for one of my clients, and I like to call it a premium reel. Now, as you can see, most of it is going to be done on the edit page, and we will also go over some sound design as well. So I'm gonna start fresh. I'm gonna go head over to the generators under the effects panel, and we're gonna grab this paper backdrop. Now, this is a generator. It is a free paper backdrop that DaVinci offers, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So I like to mess with this texture just to give it kind of a darker feel, and if you want to, you can just turn the gain down and make it kind of like a dark feel. I like the paper texture kind of look. And now if you want to guys, you can get what's called this vintage texture. So if we disactivate this paper by hitting D, what we can do is we can rotate this by 90 and then size it down like so, and then turn the animation scale down to zero. And you have this little texture right here turn the flicker down. Now you have a cool paper texture right here, but I personally like this texture better. It just makes it look a lot more crispy. So now heading into Google, we're gonna search for Levin Labs right here. It is a free software company for the most part. Now you can get their subscription and this is not sponsored at all, but I literally have the free version. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the voices tab and then we're gonna pick out which voice we want to use. So if we go and check out these voices. If you do what you've always done, rather regret the things that I've done than the things that I've not done. So I like Clyde, so all I'm gonna do is just hit Clyde. I'm just gonna use Clyde and regret the things press that I've use done right here. And as you can see, I generated a script using ChatGPT. So if we go over to ChatGPT, we're just gonna tell ChatGPT to generate me a script for my ad about video editing. So I just stated that this is a business ad to get high ticket paying clients. I'm targeting business owners, okay? So it's just gonna give me a quick, decent, you know, uh, script. So all I have is just this little sentence and that's gonna be the example I use today. So I'm just gonna command V this sentence and take out the quotations and then we're just going to generate this. Your brand's content shouldn't look decent. It should make people stop scrolling and say, who did that? So we're just gonna download this. As you can see, I do not have the paid version and I just downloaded that for completely free. They give you like 10,000 free credits or something like that. So we have this in here obviously. And so we have the paper effect as well. And so now if we put this over here, we have something like this. Your brand's content shouldn't look decent. It should make people stop scrolling and say, who did that? So we're just gonna cut that there and you can obviously do this with a better script and just go off and do a whole different script if you want to. But now we have our background, we have the voice, cool. So now we're gonna turn this voice up just a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to titles, we're gonna scroll up until we find this text plus, we're gonna drag this text plus in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just search for this uh, font called Gotham Ultra, shift that in and then we're gonna size this up now coming over to the shading with element one, we're gonna scroll down until we see a gradient and we're gonna click this first point right here, which is black. And we're gonna do this third little color right here. You could see that name right there pops up. We're gonna do that color. Then with this second color, we're gonna go ahead and do steel or 10, whatever it is. I, I, like, I like 10 better, it makes it look crispy. Okay, and then also if you wanna make this one one more darker, you can, it just, it's really all a preference but now we're gonna to go to the Fusion page with this text plus. Now with this Fusion page, it's gonna be kind of hard to see with this uh, transparent background, but just bear with me as we're gonna hit shift space for a glow. And we're gonna turn this glow all the way up to about here and give it this glow effect. Now, if we go back in here, you could see we have what's called a premium look. There is glow out, outering, there is glow skirting off of this text title and which is what we want. And the gradient is barely noticeable. You can see it's a little lighter up here, but it's a little darker down here. So I'm just gonna see what one more would look, just, you know, if I went a little darker, um, I kind of like that darker look. It's like lighter up here. It gives it a really premium look. So now what we're gonna simply do is we're gonna hit shift and swipe up on our 
timeline, which is going to extend our clips and make them bigger, which is going to give us this white point right here. So we want to make this one, two, three, four, five frames long approximately, maybe a little less, maybe three to four frames. So that way when it, your brand, your you can see that it just kind of fades yeah. in like so. I might do it just a little bit more. And then we're going to swipe back down and get rid of that. Now guys, if you want to save this for the future and you don't want to do this again, go to the three lines and hit show power bins drop down and go to a text effect and just add this in here. As you can see, I have mine right here. It's called Black Shadow. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually come back in here and, and mess with the glow just a little bit and make it a little more glowy. So we have your brand's content shouldn't. So we're gonna just do your brand's content as the first little sequence. I like to call them text sequences. So we're gonna do your, your and we're gonna put this and position it into a, a good way where it's like so. So now what I have here is just a Nike symbol, just to kind of keep this looking crispy. Everyone knows what Nike is, who Nike is, just by the little swoosh. I'm gonna make this about yay big. I'm gonna bring this right here, and we're gonna just create this as a compound clip. Go into the Fusion page with this compound clip, that way it is in the same exact position, and then we are going to add a glow to this as well, and add like an outer glow to this. Now the glow on this one doesn't necessarily matter a whole lot because you're not really affecting anything other than what's outside of it. So you can clearly see now we have that crispy look to it. So for brand, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna create that little effect right there. So, and then also with that being said, um, also since that effect kind of fades in, we're gonna go back into the Fusion page and we're going to add a transform node. We're gonna scroll down just a bit and hit a keyframe and then probably do this throughout the whole clip and just go back up to 0 0.5. We're gonna to go to the settings and go to motion blur, turn these up, go to the spline and check mark this transform and zoom to fit, hit command A, double click, ease out cubic. Cool, so now we have something like this. Your brand's come, your brand's come, your brand's so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna now hold option and swipe up like this. And we're gonna put content. And then for this one, we are going to now do kind of like a green effect. So we're gonna add a silver, hit okay. And then we're gonna come here and we're gonna do some sort of light green effect. Con con and actually, I think we'll actually end up just switching them. So, cause I want the white at the top and I'm actually gonna make this green a little darker. Cool, okay. So now if we go ahead and put this right here. So now we also are gonna add in this green screen of this fire effect. I think it looks pretty cool. We're just gonna go into the fusion page and hit Delta keyer and just key out this green. That way we have that fire effect now. And we're just going to put this below everything. So we're gonna now put this below like this. Your brand's con- content and then honestly this is an option optional but i'm probably just going to turn this down just a little bit and then keep it like this it shouldn't, shouldn't look decent it should make people stop scrolling and say who did that so i'm probably just going to put that throughout the whole thing your brand's content shouldn't so now we have something like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to group all of these together as a compound clip, and then we are going to now swipe up on this so we get this little effect right here. We're gonna do the last two frames, so then as you can see, shouldn't look it just fades away. Um, we might do a little bit longer, so like that. Content shouldn't. Okay, and then as soon as this starts to fade in is when we're gonna cut this right here hit a keyframe, go to the end, and then turn this down to make it look crispy, so. On 10, shoot it, shoot it. On 10, shoot it. On 10, shoot. On 10, and and Then to spice things up, we are going to add a little magic zoom right here. We're gonna put this above everything. Shouldn't, shouldn't look. Okay, perfect. So now, once you have that text effect, you can honestly just come into your master and grab that text effect like this. Shouldn't look decent okay and then obviously we have the colors as black so if we go to the shading we're just going to reverse this and turn this to completely white and then turn this one to a little less of a white so maybe a little lower like right there i'd assume so and we're going to simply just size this up like so 
and we're just going to center this so 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then we have so guys if you're if your mac is running a little slow you can just go to the playback and go to playback pl timeline playback resolution and just hit quarter your brand's content shouldn't look just content should shouldn't look. so we're going to cut that there and we're going to hold option and put that right there and we're going to do look so for this decent, I'm going to make this look really cool by doing a shading me mechanism here. So we're now we're going to make this color um, kind of like a red color scheme. And by doing that, we're going to do kind of like something like this. We'll see what that looks like. So as you can see, that that glow is extremely strong. So all we have to do is go back to the Fusion page and you can see it actually looks cool, but it's a little too much glowy. So we can just turn that down like so, and still giving it that premium look, um, just like that. So now if we turn back on the magic zoom. Okay, so one more thing we're gonna do for this decent, I'm gonna go into the Fusion page, and we're gonna do what we just had did for that Nike logo, so we're gonna hit a transform. We're gonna scroll down just a little bit for this one, and we're only gonna take it up to about 18 frames. And then settings, motion blur, just follow along with me here guys these these uh this animation may seem like it's hard but it's not hard whatsoever it's super easy to make you just got to get the methods down so should it look decent de 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 okay so decent. once this fully comes back now we're going to hit a, a dot this little uh keyframe on opacity we're going to turn the opacity down we're going to go one two turn it up one two turn it down one two turn it up one down one up so now it looks something shouldn't like that. look decent. It shouldn't so look fire. decent. But we're gonna swipe up on this one. We're going to turn this down on frame three. And we're also going to go ahead and right here for the paper, we're gonna turn this back up. So right, right there. Now we're gonna turn it back to white. And then also we're going to cut this here and also turn this animation down as well. So now it looks something decent. like that. It should make and I have that smooth little should, buttery wait, look. So this is what we got so far. brand's content shouldn't look decent. It should make, it should. So just really using that smooth mechanism. Should. Okay, so now we're gonna grab the black shadow again. So we're gonna put this right here in the middle semi, and then we're actually going to size this down now because we're gonna do another text sequence. Make people stop scrolling. People stop. Up sc so we're gonna do it should make, make people, people stop. stop. So right here, we're gonna pull this up here actually like that. Should make people stop scrolling. Up sc so we're gonna cut it right there. So it, should, should. so should is like only a few should. frames. So like right there. Should make, it should make, make. So now we're gonna do should, turn the layout, put it like right there, keep it in the middle. So like, like that. Maybe, maybe a little over, pull this should like right there. So it should make, so boom, should it should make, make, make like so. Make. And then we're gonna keep this one right here. Make like right there. Peep. Make. And we're gonna hold option scrolling up by the way. So people. Scroll Pe down. We're going to put this relevant to right there. It should make people. It should make people. And then we're going to take this same effect, the red effect, because it just makes sense. And we're going to do stop. Stop. Except this time we're just going to turn that little animation down a little less. Stop. Scroll. Stop. And then we're just going to bring this actual animation of stop up. up, up. <clears throat> and then one last thing is I'm going to change this to extend and just size it up like that. So that way it's like that. So now we look it should make like people stop. People stop. We just don't want that to overlap. So we'll turn that down just a little bit. It, it should make people stop. So now we have scrolling and we're just going to center this 0 0.5. Stop scrolling. And scrolling and say scrolling and say who 
did that, a eh? Scroll blinking it. So, same stuff, and I'm gonna turn that down, put that like right there, and say, boom, and say, so like that, so now we have something like this. The brand's content shouldn't look decent. It should make people stop scrolling and say, boom, just like that, guys. And now really the rest is just going to be like playing around with it, putting new effects into different places. So you can find sounds from anywhere, but you know, I'm gonna be using one of my sound effect packs, which you can find in the link in the bio. And actually guys, this is a good time to plug that if you guys are looking to take your videos to the next level and become that pro video editor, there's gonna be a few links in the description as far as my course that is A to Z in depth and all of my video editing packs in the bio that I use on a day to day basis like effects, overlays, you name it. Just about everything I've used in this video other than the text and the free effects that DaVinci gives you. I use in my videos and also it helps support me. If you guys can't do that, then the least you could do is drop a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video, Road to 10K subscribers, guys. This is something huge that I've been wanting to accomplish for so long. So if you guys wanna help me out, you guys can go subscribe right now. I am out of here and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, also I have a free Discord, go join that.